This ain't Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about Luc Besson's new movie, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. When a massive collection of the universe's civilizations is threatened from the inside, it's up to the galaxy's top special operatives, Valerian and Laureline, to figure out who is behind it and put a stop to them. This movie is based on a 1960s French comic book. I had never heard of it. Um, it seemed like maybe kind of like a Buck Rogers or something like that. Um, it looks like it would maybe had have influence on things like Star Wars, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't really done the research on it. Uh, for the most part, this my feelings about this movie are split into two different things. First is the spectacle and the effects and everything, the creature work. The effects and the creature work and everything, extremely creative, uh, looks fantastic. There's not much more I can say about it. I mean, the colors, the just the creativity of everything... I wasn't really surprised by this because Luc Besson also did The Fifth Element and there was a lot of creativity behind that. Now, this is an original property by him, but he took something that he loved and really made the most of it when it came to the effects and to the creature work and everything else. So when it comes to that stuff and the action, I can't really fault this movie. Now, what I can fault this movie for is its leads. Uh, Dane DeHaan is someone I do like, and I've seen him in things that I have liked and some things that I haven't, but most things I like him in. Now, Cara Delevingne, I've seen her in like three different things, this being the third. And, you know, I, I hated Paper Towns. She was probably the weakest part of Suicide Squad. And this, she doesn't really give us much more. Um, she's not terrible when it comes to just her character, but I think her main problem is that her and Dane DeHaan really have no chemistry together. The problem is that you're supposed to believe that these two have been on like hundreds of missions together and they know each other really well, better than anybody else. And he's in love with her even though she thinks he's a womanizer. And he's always professing his love for her and saying, I want to marry you. And she thinks he just wants to, you know, put her on the list, so to speak. And I don't get that from these two. These two just... I don't know, there, there's just really the chemistry, the lack of chemistry just really takes away from everything they want you to believe in this movie. When it comes to DeHaan's performance, it's quite funny because if this movie were made in the 90s, this would be Keanu Reeves. He channels so much Keanu Reeves in this and it's, it's just really funny to me. And if this were made in the 90s, they probably would have got Keanu Reeves if they wanted someone to act like this. And granted, I probably would have rather seen Keanu Reeves in this. Um, the pictures that they have of Valerian in the comic books, I almost seen someone that's, I'm not saying DeHaan can't do action, because the action he does is fine. But I just, if this were like an 80s movie, you'd get a Schwarzenegger, you know? 90s movie, you know, like I said, Keanu would probably fit the bill, especially after doing things like Speed. I can't remember what year that movie came out. But it would be stuff like that. And DeHaan... I just haven't seen him in anything. I mean, he did a little bit of the Goblin stuff in Amazing Spider-Man 2. We know how great that movie is. Uh, he just he just didn't seem to fit the bill here. Lastly, what this movie did was it wasted good actors and gave actors uh, more important roles. Uh, when it wasted a good actor, uh, John Goodman does... I don't think he's doing the mocap, but he does the voice for this gangster. And I wanted more of that guy. He even says... I'm going to come get you, Valerian, you know, and this is near the first of the movie. I would have liked to seen more of him, but he's just in that, that part. But then later in the movie, there's a scene, and this whole section of this movie should have been cut out. Uh, it involves Valerian needing to get, like, a disguise so he can sneak in and save Laureline and after she just rescued him, by the way, which made this movie drag on so much. They could have cut about a half hour out of this movie. It would have been a little better. It would have helped make it an easier watch. And so he goes to get this disguise, and this disguise ends up being an alien played by Rihanna. And, you know, look, I'm just going to say this. Rihanna is arguably one of the most beautiful women in the world. I mean, just look at her. She is just stunning. And I'm not the biggest fan of her music, but I'm not saying she's bad i just that's not really my kind of music but 
I think she's got a beautiful voice, and I, like I said, I think she's really attractive, but uh, she's just not that good of an actress. I mean, after watching Battleship, I, I didn't want to see her in anything else. Now, granted, she's better in this than she was in Battleship, but still, you know, they gave her two... I would uh, to this movie's plot and import too important of a role, and I don't know. Th- she does have this dance scene, which the editing and everything else, and it goes along with the effects and everything. It was done really well, and I mean, like I said, watching her dance is quite nice. But her role, I mean, it could have been or should have been played by someone if they wanted it to feel important the way it was supposed to. Uh, they should have had someone else a little more capable playing it. When I was going to see this, being that it's from Luc Besson, I was hoping to get something a little more like The Fifth Element, and then my greatest fears was that we were going to get another Jupiter Ascending. Thankfully, it's about somewhere in the middle. You know, it's not going to be as bad as Jupiter Ascending because it doesn't take itself as seriously. They try to have fun with the source material. They try to make it funny, even though at times it does get a little serious. But that being said, it's not going to be anywhere as near as good as The Fifth Element because that movie has fantastic characters. Whereas in this one, you know, the ones that are in the main spotlight just aren't up to snuff. As always, thank you so much for watching. What did you think of Valerian? Feel free to comment out down in the section below. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Gino. Till next time.